Italians actually it's not only for the foreigners a lot of Italians find themselves into this particular hi guys welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Stacy you're welcome please subscribe before leaving so this series I'm talking about school system a school system in Italy so this particular one is something that I I didn't want to make the video but uh, one of my friends that is in Nigeria uh asked me the question because the school asked uh her to do something you know to take her daughter to for an appointment and she don't know if that is uh, the right thing to do or not so her daughter is in primary one and um you know in italy here it's not like in nigeria i'm talking about nigeria because nigeria is the only country i've lived in before moving to italy it's not like nigeria where they might ask a child to repeat a class especially from primary one to primary six or to primary five here in italy so so um what they do here in italy because i'm talking about this it's not just because of that a friend of mine but he also affected um my son i saw when my son started her his uh, his primary school so this is the exam i did and i don't know if most of you know that uh i know a lot of people will keep it as a secret that say it's a shame because that is the kind of mentality we grow up in in africa so here in italy they don't wait they don't have patience like i said on my other videos to follow up with the kids that are slower than the other ones when the child is more is slower than the other kids they will leave you behind and what they will recommend you is to go to do a test you know they will give you they will ask you to go to the family the child pediatra and they ask for the receipt to book an appointment with a locopedist the general locopedist you know people that take care of ideal is like a child therapy a therapist or something like that i don't know how to explain it but most of you know it's locopedist that they call it here in italy so they examine the growth of kids to know if uh, where the kids need help and where the kids don't need help so um this happen if your child is behind if your child is slower if your child is behind or reading or writing and everything so this like i said this affected my son when he started school as well because like i am cosmo he was born december so he was the youngest he's the youngest in his class so we had some difficulties and he, he started primary school during the COVID time so he's a he has problem adapting to that because he didn't complete his pre year because of the COVID. so he stayed at home throughout uh um more than a year he wasn't well prepared so i know that a lot of kids are well prepared to enter primary school but they were not they are not able because they are they, they find themselves slow especially when it comes to a uh, two language maybe you are african and the, the kids were born here obviously at home you speak your language uh, to the kids and the, the school system here they use only italian so the kids are not used to hearing only italian or doing exercises in italy in, with italian language so this is why most of the kids find it difficult even my own son because i remember before cosmos started primary school i wasn't speaking italian the way i'm speaking italian right now uh all i i speak my language i speak he, he hear me speak different language he, you know in different in different ways he can hear me maybe on phone speaking pigeon english or sp speaking english speaking a uh, Igbo, or speaking the little italian i know so this confused the kids brain so when they start school they they have difficulties in adapting to this new system of them using italian to do every work that they gave them so they recommend sometimes the teachers because they don't have patience to stay and they you know teach the child to press the child to follow up with the child they recommend you go to your the child pediatra to take the receipt and then book the appointment with people that take care of the kids, people that examine kids a uh, growth in the hospital so that a friend of mine asked me if she can if if is is it good to book it i was like yes book the appointment go and let them examine her because when they go to examine the child either they give the child another teacher that will help, be helping the child at school you know they will ask you they will ask you different questions they will even ask you did your generation i went i did that with my husband without going with cosmo actually so they will only ask the parents to come so they will interview you they want to know everything about you as a parent they want to know your character they want to know your generational they want to know if you have problem generational problem they also it's i don't know it's kind of a I, I don't know how to explain it but i hope you you get a clue of what i'm talking about here so i'm advising you africans don't take it as a bad thing because they are trying to help our kids here now cosmo is uh, ahead at school he's doing well in school right now i thank god that we took the matter into our hand and uh, even as the government did not give us a teacher for him 
you know, someone that would stay beside him and help him at school. They didn't give it to us because they said that the customer didn't have any problem because of the way we explain him to them. He's just slow. He's just trying to adapt with the system, you know, the the new school environment, doing homework and every other thing. So they didn't give it to us. But we needed somebody that would stay, that would help him. So uh, we have to pay private locopedista to start helping him. Private locopedista, I'm not recommending private locopedista for you guys if you're not financially buoyant, uh, uh, stable for that because it's expensive. Okay, if you know, uh, private locopedista is very expensive. So if your child has a problem, it's of you to leave it at home, you know, leave the child at home and do like uh, there is nothing you can do or try. You know, we are, in we Africa, we have this bad mouth we use on kids, uh, telling the kids, trying to push the kids uh, more than the kids, his or her limit um i would advise you to go do that test if your child has problem government will actually issue a teacher as another substitute teacher for your child a teacher that will be there while they are teaching the teacher that will be interpreting everything they are teaching in the class for your child a teacher that will be there to help your child so this is why it's very very important to do that test when your child started primary especially when they are in primary one they are doing this because they don't want your child to arrive primary five and they you know still with that problem they are doing it because if your child has a problem like dyslexia problem and other kind of problem there are a lot of names they will start now to handle it instead of uh, starting late so it's better to know the level of your child in education to you know it's better to allow the government or the teachers to help you through that journey because if you leave them because a lot of people are not are not actually illiterate in africa but we don't know about this so we see the child that see things in different way we think that those child are illiterate knowing knowing that those child understand things in a different way than the other child uh, the others so we consider some of the child that is very very intelligent but not as the other ones that shows off that they are intelligent we consider them as illiterate. Meanwhile, it's not illiterate. Meanwhile, it's not the same. So this uh, control, this visit helps the um, the professionals to help your child. If your child has any difficulty in pronouncing or writing or solving problem, they help the child. They help the child to you know they help to direct the child to the right di uh, to the right direction. I don't know if that makes sense. So if you find yourself if your um, if your child is in a school, in a primary school here in Italy, and they ask you to do that, please, I'm telling you to do that because it's to help your child as well. Teachers are no longer available. Teachers are no longer, you know, the, because of the whatever model they say they want to follow, they're no longer available to stay behind and help a child that is behind. They are ready to leave your child behind if you don't take action. So the best thing to do is to follow up with the government, the government sends um, um, their teachers to help any child that uh that is not um fast you know that has a little problem with the language or with the writing or with the solving problem so do the test and um it, for your child's sake just go ahead and do the test okay so i don't know if this video makes sense i don't know if i explain it well if you don't understand anything here let me know at the comment section below and uh, I will make another video about it. So, and uh, take your chat serious. Take any report they take serious here in school because if you don't take those reports that they bring back home or those colloquial you go, especially here in Italy, if you don't take them serious, they will leave your child behind. They will leave that child behind and they will pressure that child. They will frustrate that child's life. So the best way is for you to step in and do as much as you can to help your child. Uh, because these days, I don't know if it's also like that in the Nigeria right now these days the teachers here they no longer have that uh in fact a lot of italians actually it's not only for the foreigners a lot of italians find it's a problem so what a lot of italians does the ones that can afford it is to um is to hire someone you know hire the people the most of the students that are in the secondary school or university to come and teach their child maybe twice a week or three times a week or once depends how much they can afford so they pay external people to come and help their child with uh you know they call it repetition is like a repetition so or correction they help the child you know to go over the things that the child study studied at school so uh, if you don't have the money try to persuade the government you know the teachers to that your child need help and uh, 
at the end of the day because if you don't push them they will keep pushing and at the end of the day you will be frustrated at home and your child will also be frustrated at school this is why a lot of people find their child not wanting to go to school because obviously going to school is no longer an option for them because if they go to school and they keep remaining behind and the teacher will keep shouting at them or the teacher will get frustrated and they lose it as well obviously the, the child will not want to won't, wouldn't want to go to school anymore so every child is not the same don't compare children there are children that are faster than the others i have two kids here and i can see the different it doesn't mean that one is more intelligent than the others it means that one understands things different from the other one so take your take any reports that the your child brought back from school very serious it's just to help your child okay so thank you for watching and i will see you guys on my next one bye